Where are we headed? Done here. Everybody okay? Great.
even a scratch. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. We make our own living here. Some of us hunt. Some of us scavenge the ruins left by the corporations when they abandoned us. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Oh, sure. Graham's our founder. He taught us how to cut our own path in the wilderness. And I guess some folk have started following Zora's orders. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I, I wasn't around back then. Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Thora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. I ought to mention. The Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Everybody here looks wore out. Is it just me? 
Hey, got a favor to ask you. Next time we're out in the open sulfur, I'd like to stop in on an old friend of mine. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters, friends, six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. First, we go to Hayes. I buried him away from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. Welcome to the Emporium. I'm Bronson. It ain't right. How many good folk we gonna lose to our missions? That's just the way of it. We gotta earn our keep out here. That don't mean we ought to be of a man. Yeah, we felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. Ah, yes. The first step to accepting the truths of philosophism is to open your heart to its wisdom. I've found the written word to be quite effective in helping people do that. But alas, the eternal truth hasn't been generous with the paper and ink. Now, why have you come? 
Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? Not in the sense of a single entity, fashioning the universe as a whittler fashions a flute. The universe came into being over time, organically, naturally, and without purpose. In that sense, I suppose you could say that, in the interest of finding its purpose, the universe itself created all living things. Questions like these are distractions. It doesn't matter whether an entity sparked the universe or not. Only by pursuing the eternal truth will we find these and other answers. The point of no return. When your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, every philosophist for many it is the first brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI just like the overlords before him. Sanjar Nandi. He leads MSI out of Stellar Bay. Such a shame, the way his sensibilities have been corrupted over time. Ah, the Eternal. We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Each of you and I, and the rats and the mantis swarms. Divinity is in us all, and the Eternal is that divinity. Everyone, regardless of ability to believe, is another... All right. The iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own... Meanwhile, the board strangles the will of its workers. It is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles. Oh, yes. Gunships hover in our skies, ready for the day they decide to come to our doors waving banners of war. The perception of visionaries is often tainted by the lies of their... Why have you come? A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. I have always dreamed of subverting the colony's periodicals and turning the board's own propaganda against them. If I could get my message directly in the hands of Byzantium citizens, I'm sure they'd recognize the truth. Will you aid us in our cause? Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait, where is Huxley? It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. One of our sympathizers, a woman named Carlotta, periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, Food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. <laughs> what? Sorry. Long day.
Inside voices. Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? Right. Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights, though. Soon as we fix that generator, she... You'd have to ask the boss. I just know... And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why is that now? Oh, of all the void damned. I ain't getting eaten alive for a couple of bits. Pack it up, crew!
I heard that. I heard all of that. Who's out there? Whoever you are, you're in a lot of trouble. Hello? Yeah, right. Okay. I am absolutely not opening this door. Who are you anyway? Oh, for... finally! Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sanjar has declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Seems like a nice little town. Except for all the dead critters. The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. They're hunters. Badass ones at that. Hope they're all right. They're our best unit, and now they're missing in action. And we'll continue that discussion later. 
Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? The board must have gotten a hold of him at last. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Vanoys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The hell's the sense in recruiting if you're just gonna get them killed? I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. This is worth bickering over. The Iconoclasts can't keep their heads in the ground forever, or they're going to starve and die slow. Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this... I...
were coming real close to eating me. I'm Lenora. You, uh... What are you doing out here? Not that I'm complaining, but I figure only marauders and animals roam around. Well, shit, today's your lucky day, I guess. Thanks for the help. I've got to pick up some things from the bay, but I run a little stand near Fallbrook. Next time you need supplies, stop by, you hear?
Feels like the old bits outside of Edgewater. Used up, unneeded, left to settle into ruin. Don't bother knocking on any doors. If anyone's inside, they're liable to respond with gunfire. Something you need? I wonder who used to live here. Do you suppose anyone remembers anymore?
I'm Huxley. Uh, Hux, if you're lazy. I'm stuck. My friends and I were scavenging here, and a Mata Queen showed up, then wrapped it on. It was a void blasted mess. I ran in here, and, um, now the door's locked. Little help? Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Nyoka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm... Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy, and <laughs> hey, who's your identical, slightly blurry friend? But I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? Can do. Thanks a lot, mister. Talk to me. Nioka, you're a sight right now, I'll tell you what. We are up a creek. I bet. You really come this far north for a printing press? 
Yeah, I know, I know, but that's the mission. Don't suppose y'all are busy right now. Thanks, but I ain't sure the mission is worth it. You keep spewing that sulfur, I'm liable to leave you to the rafts. What my well-meaning idiot of a brother intends to say is, we appreciate the assist. It's a lost cause. Going back there would be suicide. What'd I just say, August? We ain't abandoning our mission. That said, we ain't in a state to help either. We gotta find our medic, get back to Amber Heights, and plan a proper approach. That son of a bitch is gonna put his propaganda before our lives? It ain't propaganda, August. It's the truth, and that's worth dying for. Come on.
So you keep Monarch safe, huh? That's real honorable work, Miss Nilka. Oh, no, no. Monarch ain't safe, even with me around. I've just got intimate knowledge of its dangers and an abundance of fortitude. Folks hire me because I know what you can shoot and what you ought to run from. That's a mistake you only get to make. If you'll just listen... No! No more listening! No more preaching! We are losing people Let Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's crew... Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our... They are armed all the same. All they need is a good reason. Excellent. Did you find the Vanois? That's better than nothing. I'll see you. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us see some. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. Sermons? For the... Hey. Ah, Nioka. Nice day, huh? For Monarch, anyway. Gonna need to buy myself an entire Rizzo plant after all this. I'm on it! Here we go! Hey there! Thanks again for getting me away from those marauders. You want to buy something? 
No, no, don't be absurd. I'm... Thank <laughs> you. 